For our HBO special, Countdown to Zero, I travel to Rwanda to see what progress is being made in the fight against HIV. I met up with U2's frontman, Bono, an outspoken HIV AIDS activist. He told us why he got involved with this fight and the challenges he's faced along the way. Why Bono? Why bother being an activist? You don't need to do it. I'm Irish. And Irish people can be a pain in the arse about this stuff. Irish people really remember the injustice of extreme poverty because we have a shared colonial past. We remember the jackboot of empire. So here's a disease that has killed twice as many people as World War I. And the solution to it, to make matters worse, is really expensive. So when we in the kind of agitprop anti-poverty community pick a fight with HIV AIDS, some would say, in fact a lot of people say, it's the wrong fight. Mm -hmm. You pick the most expensive fight. Why, why would you do that? Why a, did you waste do that resources? Fight? Here's why. Because we felt that HIV AIDS demonstrated the injustice of the global health catastrophes better than any other disease. Why? Because in my pharmacist in Dublin, I get two pills, they keep me alive, but if we live in Kigali in Rwanda, I'm going to die. So an accident of geography, i.e. where you live, decides whether you live. So I can walk into anyone. You know, there's, they're the hardest of hearts, the most, you know, seemingly blasé about this stuff. And explain that to them, they just, they can't live with it. To gain American support for his cause, Bono needed to explain this reality to conservative leaders in Congress, many of whom had strong views on AIDS. No federal funds can be used to encourage or promote homosexual sexual activity. I have met with hundreds of evangelists and we just went for it. It was a blood sport because I know the scriptures and I, the idea that this isn't, you know, that Christ didn't hang out with leprosy is just mad. And of course, this is the new leprosy. So we could have these meetings. And to be fair to the evangelicals, the evangelicals realized they, they, they had got this wrong. And then there was an amazing moment. Jesse Holmes' famous cold warrior, you know, the, the titan of Republican hardcore, uh, Big North Southern, Carolina, yeah. Southern, he publicly repents. We have a meeting with him, we go through it all. He wells up, tears come down his face. And he says, we've got this wrong. And he started to turn up at our events. It's a tough fight, but at the heart of it is an injustice that really is hard for people to, to, to argue. The argument was so strong that in 2003, President Bush announced his plan to launch one of the largest medical relief programs in history. To meet a severe and urgent crisis abroad tonight, I propose the emergency plan for AIDS relief, a work of mercy beyond all current international efforts to help the people of Africa. It took a while for that to happen. And I went to see the president to complain about how long it was taking to get the drugs through to here, right. the, the rural poor. I was talking to him and talking to him. I was just kind of just mouthing off, you know, just going on and on and on in the Oval Office. And finally, he just went and just put like this. He said, listen, I am the president. Can I speak? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a very funny moment. Anyway, in, within six months, as it turned out, the machine was rolling. It was slow. I had to go back. I had to apologize to him because I criticized him in public as well. I said, I'm really, really apologize, uh, Mr. President. He said, want lunch? This is a remarkable thing. Yeah. It's not like this everywhere. But this is what happens if you get it right. This success came from the, the support from uh, Global Fund and uh, PEPFA funds. That's what helped us to reduce dramatically 
these the new cases of HIV. The hard work is paying off and the program is working. In Rwanda, over 90% of HIV positive pregnant women receive antiretroviral treatment. When did you find out that you were HIV positive and how did you find out? So it's been almost 10 years since you started taking the medication. How do you feel now physically? It's the largest intervention, medical intervention, in the history of the planet. It's really significant. It's also significant that nobody knows. I mean, I cannot um, uh, believe that nobody knows this stuff. People walking down the street, if they pay tax, they're an AIDS activist because you're part of one of the greatest struggles in the history. I mean, you're right at the moment where everything could go really right. We finish off this little virus that has wreaked so much havoc in so many people's lives. Or we turn our backs, we get busy, we get distracted, and it starts to catch fire again. Mm -hmm.